Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my video today. I'm going to be doing the unboxing for the latest Papercraft Society kit. This is kit four, box four. Now I know, I was thinking about it, that I haven't shared any tutorials with the Bright Rosa, which is kit three. Um, Christmas has just completely kind of taken over. So the, the box came for me at a bit of a hard time because I was so into the Christmas tutorials and I had so many kind of um, just things that I had to share and I had to make and um, it's just kind of been sat there looking at me so I promise you are going to have an influx of lovely tutorials with the Bright Rosa and also with this one here. I do feel that this one's come out sooner than the Bright Rosa one, I could be wrong but I'm sure I, we've got this in the same month that Bright Rosa come and I thought it went slightly over so anyway it's not a bad thing, it's great to have all this lovely product. So this is the one, the latest one by Paper Discovery which is created by Olga. So if you haven't already checked Olga out, go and head over to her YouTube channel and um, yeah, she's got amazing um, tutorials over there. So as always, beautifully packaged and this one says, enjoy discovering the delights of the beautiful collection I've put together for you, Olga. So the packaging, the colour and everything is always a teaser to what the papers and everything's going to be like inside. So I did look at the the unboxing that they've done on Craft Stash. It's got a real whimsical, magical, mystical kind of feel about it. And um, it's something very different and I really like it. So you can see here, you've got that silver foiling and you've got all these beautiful, these are the dandelions. And then, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Cause I, it's like I said, I've seen that one. So I haven't um, had a good look in this one yet. So we will do the, let's do the packaging first and we'll do the envelope afterwards. So is Olga and again that lovely blue and you've got little bits oh it's the sequins ah okay right so we're looking at that in a moment so in here you've got your ink cube so we have this blue and grey and there you go and these are always so juicy like there's usually ink yeah there's like ink all around them so you're gonna these will um you know certainly last you so they will match perfectly with what's in here in terms of your papers. So we've got some organza white ribbon there, which is really pretty, very delicate. So you can see there the organza ribbon. We've got our card. So again, I hole punch mine and I have them all hanging together. I thought I had two stuck together. So this is a guide to paper sizes. That's handy. Always good for when you want to get, you know, just, I don't know, sometimes I get like a brain fog and I can't think you know, what size I need. So it's good to have those little cards. So these have come out of the sequin box here. I can see the top where they've just kind of leaked out, but it actually looks quite pretty as well. So these are your coordinating card. Oh, an acetate. So let's just carefully take that one off and have a little look at the colors here. So we've got a gorgeous like sunshine yellow there, three of each. Then we've got the gray and the blue. So you can see there how they're going to all match really nicely and it's lovely nice thick cardstock there as well so I'm just going to pop that one back in there I always keep mine all together and I put the papers this cardstock I will end up putting it into the actual envelope so oh, that'd be all right I'll do that in a minute and then there's the sequins so you can see there those lovely like holographic or iridescent ones really really nice there so I'm just going to keep all that neatly in there for the minute okay and then back to the envelopes this is the main part you get an envelope in every single box and on the side here on the spine it will say what it is so this is the papercraft society box four and it's by paper discovery you'll see now how lovely they start to look all stacked up it will just look so nice on your shelf you know all these lovely folders and you can just go to them and you know that everything's in there so this is the first one card making magic box two is simply made crafts then you've got Bright Rosa for box three and then now the paper discovery. So let me just open this one up. I always do it the wrong way. Yeah, that's the right way. Ooh, so we have the stamp set. So let me just grab, I'm just gonna take the paper out and just use this here just so you can see them better. Straight away, this jumps out to me. It's such a beautiful stamp. You've got the beautiful dragonflies, the birds. You've got this bridge. You've got, I love these kind of border ones, love the toadstool there and the little frog. You've got deepest sympathies, you've got the only impossible journey is the one you never begin. Very, very good, I like that one. Happy new home, good luck, get well soon. Hope you find strength with each 
with each new day and wishing you well. So it's got that, it's got a lot of motivational, supportive kind of quotes there, which is nice. Love the dandelions again. And then this is that kind of whimsical, magical with the silhouettes there. Love this. And I already have a really nice card idea. So I can't wait to start that one. So I get so excited. Like this is, you know, genuine happiness with some paper and stamps. Isn't it nice that you can just have that feeling from something like that. Then we have an, this is a five by seven. Just gonna double check. Pretty good, uh, oh no, this is bigger. So this is, this is five and three quarters by eight. Olga does do big embossing folders. If I just show you, yeah, so that's where it's come from. So this is one of hers here. This is the Elegant Room embossing folder. Um, and you can see just how large those ones are. These are your different kind of scenes. So you've got one there, one there, and one there. So you can cut them. So I, again, we'll go through the inspirational book in a moment, but it'd be nice to see how Olga's intended for those to be used in more detail. Then we've got some acetate. We've got another piece there. So we've got two pieces of acetate. Look at that vellum. That is absolutely stunning. It's like it's it almost looks like it's bamboo. I don't think it is. I think it's another kind of plant, but it has got a bit of an oriental bamboo feel about it. Absolutely stunning. Really lovely quality. You know, you could certainly use it as parchment because obviously that you know, vellum and parchment's very similar. Parchment just tends to be thicker and this is on that thicker end. You could certainly do some really fun techniques with that. Then you've got some plain vellum here. So again, you could do some nice details with your embossing um, stylus and with the embossing folder. So again, can't wait to use that. And then these are really fun, very, very different, but very much Olga's style. So it's got that kind of, again, I can see like an oriental feel coming through it. I think that's from my years living in Asia. I can kind of pick these bits out, but that's what it does look like. This is beautiful. Love that one. So you can imagine having these fairies and the butterflies kind of flying above I think that would look really really sweet so you've got those two and those two and then so it's a little bit different this time because you in other ones you've had quite a lot of pattern papers but I think because you've got these beautiful vellums and you've got two sheets of the acetate there because I think this one here is is used for like um the dies are like aperture ones so to create windows and scenes so that's why you've got the acetate so that's those ones there and then onto the die set so I need to transfer this over onto my magnetic sheet but let me just again grab just a piece of this just so you can see them a bit better but look there's a wishing well oh I haven't got a wishing well die I have not of all the thousands of dies I have I do not have a wishing well that is so good absolutely love that the bridge again the dandelion I don't have a dandelion like that love the fence I think that's a stream not a path but then you could maybe depending on what color cardstock you use but I think that's water flowing that one and then here you see you've got this big die cut here it cuts this really lovely shape within your paper so that will give you your aperture your window for whatever it is you can do great shaker cards you can do shadow box cards you can do tunnel cards there's so many nice techniques to use this and then this one here will cut all this beautiful detail into your cards. You're gonna be left with all these lovely sprigs. Then you've got the moon, and then you've got like a, a half moon there. It's not quite a half moon, it's like a quarter moon. The butterflies again, the dragonfly. Love the bridge, just think that's such a nice different kind of one. And then all these sprigs. And I can straight away, I know it's got the fairies and everything, but I see this as an underwater and I see this as like seaweed. You know, you take that all that middle bit out because none of that's attached. But you do that in in you know your more underwater colours. Definitely, definitely, I can see that being used for underwater, which, as you all know, is my favourite kind of theme when it comes to cards. I just love all that. So that is inside the envelope. Absolutely love it. Really, really do. And um, yeah, I can't wait to um, to start creating. I've got two nice ideas for this. So um, I will need to write them on a bit of paper and pop them inside because I forget my ideas. They come to me and then they go again. So let's just pop all this back in here. So inside all of the booklets, you always get, I, th I think it was 15 card ideas or project ideas. So there will usually be a introduction by the designer. Then you have your contents. And then there's always like a yeah five minutes, so a mini interview. Then there's the, the contents of the box. 
and she will kind of tell you about the, the embossing folder. I say, she'll tell you about everything, but here I've just seen the embossing folder. So it's three different elements combined to make texture. Firstly, use the straight lines to create your diorama concertina folds. Ah, see, already really, really good. And then, uh, then emboss using wavy lines, either as a background or hillsides or, gen or gentle waterways to complete your scene. So those lines are actually to do your concertina folds. So that's really handy to know. And here they show you how to use it. So you're just running it through either ends of the paper to create that tunnel effect. And you can see, just look, how beautiful is that? What a lovely scene. Just so pretty, really, really love it. And again there, you can see there's layers. So you imagine you do that in green and then you're looking down like you're under the sea and you've got fish here. So it's brilliant. So, you know, these are any kind of sprigs and stuff. As soon as you change the colours of them, there's no reason why there can't be seaweed and plants that are under the water or even inside like a fish tank or something. So I think that's going to be really cute. Then we've got what, some here. So these are really pretty. Love that one there. These are by, So these ones are by Linda. So she's on the Crass Dash design team. Yeah, I do like that that kind of tone on tone one with the wishing well. I think the wishing well is my favourite one. I think it's really sweet. And then these are your step by steps how to make the three cards there. So you've got step by step there, there, and there. So you you will know how to make all of them. Then this one here. So there's the waves. So that's really nice. So this is done by Claire. And again, she's just showing again all the like the step by steps are really really good. Then that's using oh so that piece there is Olga's oh, used it behind the fairy, and that's a shaker card. And then that's that beautiful vellum with the sequins behind. So again, it's a shaker card. That's been heat embossed in silver. And then this is all of Olga's collection. I do have most of this. I think I've got everything. Yeah, I've got everything apart from that one. And I've got a really fun tutorial coming with this one. And then we've got, these are Quick Makes by Anne. She's also on the design team. So again, if you want something a bit more simple, then there's those of nice ideas there and again that wishing well which I just adore and then just a bit about other magazines that are available and we've got another one here this is by Carol and again she's used the vellum and kind of done a layered effect with the wishing well and it's got wishing you well oh did I miss that sentiment did I see wishing you well it must be on there because the cards are obviously there to be used with all the products so I love it and then Jeanette always does, happy Jeanette, she always does a really nice card at the end. So this is using the vellum, she's used the ribbon, and she's done that silhouette effect using the ink. And that's a lovely good luck card. I like the way she's used that border with the grass actually all the way around. So it's like that meadow again, that real kind of um, whimsical feel about it. And she shows you how to do it there as well. And then, yeah, and then it kind of finishes. So really, really good. As always, I will share all the links below. The closing for this box is long gone now. You won't be able to get this one unless they have any left over. They sometimes put them up on their website. So the link that I share below, you will be able to find if there are any more left of this. But if you're lucky to get these, then get them. They're great value for money. They ship worldwide and um, they're really, really fun. I do. I really like them. And I think if you're starting off, these are a great way to start building your, your stash and for you to get a feel about maybe the things you like, because you get to try different things. Um, with each kit because every design is different so yeah thank you again craft stash for sending me this box and uh, tune in for the tutorials now christmas is done and dusted i can't wait oh, i just love getting like away from christmas <laughs> it's so nice to just have stuff that has no santa claus no snowmen <laughs> no red or green so anyway i'm gonna go now i'm just really excitable for some reason i think it might have been the chocolate bar i had before but anyway i'm gonna go have a great day everybody and i'll be back again soon with another tutorial see you bye